automate to the class and activities the class based system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about analysis of grids. The overlap and length and fixity. In case of HVDC system, the power is given to the converter by means of a transformer. Where the transformer has a some amount of reactance, this reactance is not allowing the sudden increasing and sudden decreasing of current to the incoming and outgoing work. So it introduces the overlap angle during the computation period as well as a turn on of the walls. Here we assume that the T1, T2 is already conducting. Now we are applying the degree voltage to the T3. Once the T3 is on, the current passing from the T1 has to decrease and current through the T3 has to increase. These two things will be happen some duration, nothing but a, both the T1 and T3 is conducting from the one competition group. This is the overlap angle. In this duration, T1 T3 is conducting after the T2 T3 is conducting. Again, here the two devices from the another competition group, nothing but a T2 and T4 is conducting. These two devices are overlapping, so the output voltage will be reducing. Again, next, next T3 T4 is conducting. So in this manner, at every 60 degrees, we can find some amount of overlap angle due to the inductance of a transformer. The overlap angle is less than the 60 degrees. Due to the overlap angle, three devices are conducting. After the overlap angle, two devices are conducting. Suppose the overlap angle is more than the 60 degrees. Due to the overlap angle, four devices are conducting. After the overlap angle, three devices are conducting. Exactly if the overlap angle equal to 60, then three devices are connected. So based upon this overlap angle, the operation of converter has a three modes. The first mode is overlap angle less than the 60 degree. The second mode is overlap angle equal to 60 degree. Third mode is overlap angle is greater than the 60 degree. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the overlap angle is less than the 60 degree. When the overlap angle is less than 60 degrees, we assume that previously the T1, T2 is conducting. Now we apply the technical voltage to the T3, so the T3 also will be conducting. Now apply the KVN in this group, we are getting the EV minus EA equal to LC into DI3 by DT minus DI1 by DT. I1 is nothing but current passing through the first device, I3 is nothing but a current passing through the second device. Already we know that EVA voltage is equal to 2 to ELL sin omega D. If you apply the KCL at this node, we have a relation between the ID and I1. I1 equal to ID minus I3. Now by using the equation 2 and 3, if you simplify the equation 1 means, we are getting the root 2 ELL sin omega D equal to 2 LC into D I3 by D2. Now for this equation, if we apply the initial boundary conditions, where omega t equal to alpha, we are getting the I3 of t equal to Is into cos alpha minus cos omega t, where Is equal to root 2 ELL by 2 omega nc. Now if you substitute in the final boundary conditions, where omega t equal to alpha plus mu and magnitude of I3 equal to Id in the above equation, we are getting the relation for the DC link current ID equal to IS into cos alpha minus cos alpha plus mu. Now we have to remember this equation. We are going to use this equation further after deriving the output voltage equation. Average DC voltage. Within the 60 degrees, we can find the overlap angle after the overlap angle only the two devices are connecting. During the overlap angle, the output voltage will be reducing that is equal to minus 3 by 2 VC instead of EBC. Here we can observe the output voltage and current through the T1 and current through the T3. See this is the output voltage due to the overlap angle that is decreasing. If you observe the current, the current through the T1 is decreasing whereas current through the T3 will be increasing. That we can observe during the overlap angle. Now we are going to find out the average output voltage. Vd equal to 3 by pi integral alpha to alpha plus mu minus 3 by 2 ec d omega t this is due to the overlap angle after the overlap angle this one 
integral alpha plus mu to alpha plus 60 degrees E, B, C, D, omega t. Now rearrange this equation and this this integral value is equal to minus 1 by 2 integral alpha alpha to alpha plus mu E, B, A, D, omega t. Now finally, I have to complete this integration, substitute the limits and finally we are getting the V did not cos alpha minus 3 by 2 pi integral alpha to alpha plus mu root 2 E L L sin omega t d omega t. This is nothing but the output voltage of a converter without overlap angle. Now I have to compare these integrations up to the limits we are getting the 3 by 2 pi root 2 E L L cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu. We know that V d not equal to 3 by 5 root 2 E L L. Now we have to replace this constant with Vd0. We are getting the output voltage Vd equal to Vd0 by 2 cos alpha plus cos of alpha plus mu. Already we know the value for the Id. Id equal to Is into cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu. By using this equation, simplify the equation 7 so that we are getting the Vd equal to Vd0 cos alpha minus Rc into Id, where Rc equal to 3 by 5 omega Lc. This term is representing the voltage drop in output voltage due to the overlap angle. Mm -hmm. Then this equation we are representing in equivalent circuit. This is the voltage source which is representing the Vd0 cos alpha. This is representing the voltage drop across the resistance that is Rc into Id. So finally you can say that due to the overlap angle, the output voltage will be reduced. Inverter operation. We are defining the sum of the quantities beta equal to pi minus alpha, gamma equal to beta minus mu. That we can write it as a pi minus alpha minus mu. In case of inverter, the output voltage opposes the flow of current. So the Whatever the voltage expression we got it in a rectifier, for the same equation we have take the minus before that expression. So Vd i, i stands for the inverter operation, equal to minus Vd not i by 2 cos alpha plus cos of alpha plus mu. In place of alpha you replace in terms of beta, we are getting the cos of pi minus beta plus cos of pi minus gamma from this equation. If you simplify this equation, we will get the Vd not i by 2 into cos beta plus cos gamma. This is the expression for the output voltage in case of an inverter. Already we know the expression for the DC link current. By using the DC link current, if you simplify this expression means, finally we will get in the Vd i equal to Vd not i cos beta plus Rc i, I, I d. The same equation we can write it in terms of a gamma, V not i cos gamma minus Rc i id. The inverter voltage equation and rectifier voltage equation both are similar. In case of rectifier voltage equation, in place of alpha if we replace the gamma, then we are getting the inverter voltage equation. But alpha is the independent variable, whereas the gamma is the dependent variable. Nothing but it is not, we can't control directly. Harmonics in AC current and DC voltage. So due to the overlap angle, the AC current waveform as well as the DC voltage waveform also will be disturbed. Due to that, the harmonics will be introducing. But in case of overlap angle, the harmonics in AC current as well as the DC voltage will be disturbed. From the Fourier analysis, we can find the harmonics in AC current. I1 equal to square root of I11 square plus I12 square, where I11 equal to I1 cos pi equal to 2 6 by pi id cos of alpha plus cos of alpha plus mu by 2, I12 equal to I1 sin pi equal to root 6 by pi id into 2 mu plus sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 delta by 4 into cos alpha minus cos delta, where pi is nothing but a power factor angle. Delta is nothing but alpha plus mu. You can find the power factor angle by taking the ratio of second equation by the first equation. Tan pi equal to 2 mu plus 
sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 delta by cos 2 alpha minus cos 2 delta. How much percentage of hormones will be reducing me? IH by IH naught equal to 1 by 2 x into square root of h square plus k square minus 2 h k cos of 2 alpha plus mu. IH is nothing but a harmonic sinic current wave with overlap angle. IH naught is nothing but a harmonic sinic current wave without overlap angle. Where h equal to sin of h plus 1 into mu by 2 by h plus 1 k equal to sin of h minus 1 mu by 2 into h minus 1 x equal to 1 by 2 into cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu where h is nothing but a r of the harmonic the harmonic current without overlap angle i h naught equal to root 6 by pi i d by h harmonic in dc voltage also altered how much reduction in harmonic in dc voltage that is given by the following equation Vh by Vh naught equal to 1 by 2 F square plus E square minus 2 Fg cos of 2 alpha minus mu whole root where F equal to cos of H plus 1 into mu by 2 by H plus 1 G equal to cos of H minus 1 by H minus 1 into mu by so thank you very much for watching this video.